Hey everyone, how are you all? Hope you all good. I am here to make a video on AIB according to this question paper answer key and uh, I hope this will give you a little help. So let's get started. So the first question is section 154 under IT Act is. What is section 154? So the answer is C. Rectification of mistakes is section 154 under IT Act. Question number two is which of the following is not included in the capital asset under section 214 of income tax act. So here is the answer. The answer is C, A and B both. A is any stock in trade and B is special bearer bond 1991 issued by central government. Okay. So third question is the language which is to be used in the arbitral proceedings is decided by so the answer is b parties to decide by mutual understanding okay so the question number four is the arbitral proceedings shall stand terminated so the answer is c when the parties of the dispute agree to terminate proceedings so the question number five is every award to a local adalat is deemed to be what answer is c decree or civil code the question is uh, question number six is the arbitration of uh, and conciliation act 1996 section 18 to 27 c states uh, so the answer is a the conducting uh, the conducting or of arbitral proceedings okay so the next question is uh, question number seven provision of section 80 of cpc is binding on kis pe kis pe binding hai? section 80 of cpc so the answer is d all of the above it means the high court the court of civil judge and the district judge so the question number eight is temporary injunction can be granted so the answer is b ex party Question number 9 is right to appeal is a what? Question, answer is C. Statutory right. It's a statutory right. Right to appeal. So the question number 10 is the last amendment to the Indian Succession Act was made in. Answer is C. In 2002. Question number 11 is which is the correct statement? There can be a uh, can be a will without a codicil and b is there can be a codicil without a will every will is a codicil and a codicil proceeds a will so the answer is a there can be a will without a codicil So the question number 12 is as per section 63 of Indian Succession Act a will should be attested by a will should be attested by so here is the answer is B by two or more witnesses. So the question number 13 is Iddat under Muhammad law Muhammadan law refers to so the answer is D. None of above. It means a gift made on the occasion of marriage. It's not the right of the husband to the divorce his wife. It's not an attending of puberty. It's not. So the answer is none of uh, of the above. Question number fourteen is under the Christian Marriage Act. The marriage registrar for any district is appointed by appointed by state government okay so next question is the word embassy man is dr uh, derived from swedish embassy administration okay the answer is swedish administration question number five answer is c question number 16 is sorry question number 15 question number 16 is under section 3 of the commission of inquiry act 1952 an inquiry commission is appointed by the answer is a central government or state government question number 17 is information technology act was enacted in 
when it was enacted so the answer is c 2000 question number 18 is government of india passed information technology act in 2000 with objective so the answer is d all of the above it means a provide uh, to provide legal section um, to all transaction for e-commerce b to facilitate electronic filling of all documents to the government and c the amend indian penal code indian evidence act to punish the cyber crimes okay all of the above so question number 19 is right to personal liberty includes it's the all of the above it means a right against uh, custodial violence and b right of under trials to separate them from convicted and c right against public hanging so the question number 20 is the supreme commander of the defense force of india is the answer is a president okay the question number 21 is retirement is of supreme court judge judges is so everybody everyone is knows about this answer so the answer is question answer is d 65 years next question is question number 22 criminal procedure code is a subject of concurrent list answer is concurrent list question number 23 bailable and non bailable offense has been defined in section 2a of crpc is the answer so the next question is question number 24 under section 21 of crpc special executive magistrate may be appointed by answer is d state government question number 25 is police may carry out personal search on an arrested person so the answer is c under section 51 of crpc question number 26 is the special court is so the answer is a not subordinate to high court question number 27 is the powers under section 159 of crpc can be exercised by a magistrate so the answer is a when the police decides not to investigate the case okay so the question number 28 is statement recorded during investigation under section 161 can be used in trial so the answer is a for contradicting the witness question number 29 is power of taking cognizance of offense by a magistrate of first class or second class is provided so the answer is b under section 190 of criminal procedure code so the question number 30 is addition or alteration of charges is provided in crpc so this is provided in sex under section 260 okay okay answer is question uh, c is the answer so the next question is question number 31 which is which section 2 specific relief act prohibits filing a case against the government so the answer is b section 6 next question is 32 the patent act become a law in when it will it was become a law so the answer is a 1917 in 1917 the patent act become a law so the question number 33 is check bouncing case charge under section 138 of negotiable instrument act is uh, trialed by answer is c magistrate court so question number 34 is the provision of establishing public service commission is made under answer is b article 3 uh, 350 so the next question is 35 number and this question is the case krishna gopal versus state of mp relates to 
so the answer is c noise and air pollution so the question number 36 is what is the punishment for advocates if the establishment finding of the bar council is misappropriation so the answer is b it means all of the above a is impose a fine of course b is a uh, name of the advocate will be struck off uh, from the role and c is suspension from practice so the next question number 37 is on being aggrieved by the order of state bar council one can appeal to so the answer is c bar council of india question number 38 is which section of advocate act provides punishment for misconduct of advocates so the answer is b section 35 Section 35 of the Advocate Act provides punishment for misconduct of advocates. So the uh, question number 39 is Section 24 of Advocate Act deal with uh, deal with answer is A qualification of advocates who should be enrolled in the bar. So the next question is question number 40 which is under the Workman Compensation Act which is helpful in deciding the extent of injury for compensation. So the answer is D, A, B and C it means. So the B is medical examination and C is medical certification. Certificate, certificate sorry. So the question number 41 is section 23 of Workman Compensation Act 1923 says that the commissioner shall have the power of. So answer is A, a court. Okay. Question number 42, the objective of the Industrial Dispute Act 1970, uh, 1947 is, uh, the answer is D, all of the above. So A is industrial place of electro, uh, economic justice b is to create harmonious relation between employer and employee and c is to uh, to prevent illegal strike or lockout etc question number 43 is section 2q of the industrial dispute act 1947 provides the definition of answer is c strike Question number 44, the Land Acquisition Act came into force from, so when it it uh, came into force, so the answer is D, 1st March 1894. Question number 45 is under the Land Acquisition Act, the arable land means, so it means useful for cultivation, Arabic land, okay. So the question number 46 is which one is not a fundamental right? A right of freedom of assembly, right to property, right to equality, right to freedom of speech and expression. So B, right to property is not now a fundamental right. Question number 47 is in Menka Gandhi case it was observed that what was observed? So the A, A confis uh, confiscation of a passport was correct. Right to go abroad is not within the meaning of Article 21. Right to go abroad is within the admit of ambit of Article 19.1 A. But the confiscation of passport is not in accordance to the law and none of the above. So the answer is C. Right to go abroad in within the um, bit of Article 19, 1A. But the confiscation of passport is not in accordance of the law. So question number 48 is reasonable restrictions can be imposed on the right of free movement. So the answer is in the interest of general public. A is the answer. So the question number 49 is which of the following can claim article 19 of a constitu uh, constitution a company a corporation only citizens citizens and alliance so the answer is c only citizens 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी इज क्लॉज थ्री ऑफ द आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन क्लॉज वन ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सेज दैट नो अक्यूज पर्सन शेल बी कंपेल्ड टू बी ए विटनेस अगेंस्ट हिमसेल्फ तो सी इज द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन इंदिरा स्वैनी वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया इज पॉपुलरली नोन एज पॉपुलरली नो पॉपुलरली नोन एज मंडल कमीशन केस ओके सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी टू इज ड्यू टू द आउटकम ऑफ द केस स्लम डवेलर्स वेर बेनिफिटेड सो द आंसर इज बी ओलका टेलीज वर्सेज बॉम्बे म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री इज ए पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट लिटिगेशन कैन बी फिल्ड अंडर ए पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट लिटिगेशन कैन बी फाइल्ड अंडर सो द आंसर विल बी सी ए एंड बी ए इज आर्टिकल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड आर्टिकल थर्टी टू ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड अंडर अंडर सेक्शन वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी थ्री ऑफ क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर कोड सो दीज आर द आंसर्स सो द क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फोर इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन एस पी गुप्ता वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया ए आई आर नाइनटीन एट्टी टू एस सी वन फोर नाइन डिसाइडेड ऑन आंसर इज सी जजेस ट्रांसफर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन पी आई एल नोन एज कमलनाथ केस इन्वॉल्व सो द आंसर इज बी पब्लिक ट्रस्ट डॉक्टर सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स विशाखा वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान केस इज रिलेटेड टू सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट एट वर्क प्लेस क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन कोर्ट्स पावर टू अवॉर्ड कंपनसेशन इन प्रोवाइडेड इन स्पेसिफिक रिलीफ एक्ट आंसर इज बी अंडर सेक्शन ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट प्रोवाइडिंग ऑफ हैंड राइटिंग इज प्रोवाइडेड इन इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट so the answer is d a and b it means by the opinion of expert and by the evidence of the person who is um acquainted with the handwriting okay so the question number 59 is section 26 of indian evidence acts provides so what is uh, it will provide so the answer is d A and C. It means no confession made by the person in police custody is admissible. And C. Confession made in the immediate uh, presence of a magistrate is admissible. Question number sixty. The term evidence means and includes. So answer is D. All of the above. oral evidence documentary evidence and electronic record produced for the inspection of the code so question number 61 is which is the authority that determines the language of the code other than high court within a given state under section 271 of crpc so the answer is a state comment Question number six sixty two. A decree can be decree can be either preliminary or final. D is the answer. Question number sixty three. Foreign judgment is defined in CPC. So the answer is um, A under section two subsection six of CPC. Next question is sixty uh, four. Question number. The minimum number of person required to incorporate a public company is. So the answer is C, seven person. A uh, question number sixty five is a private company can uh, commence business as soon as it receives. A is the answer certification of incorporation. Question number sixty six. Which of the following is not an essential of a contract of um guarantee so the answer is d existence of only one contract question number 67 the term agent is defined in indian contract act under section so where is 
defined agent so answer is c 182 of the act question number 68 what is the min maximum number of uh, partners in banking business so answer is b 10 question number 69 a person who give uh, the guarantee is called of course the surety question number 70 which is not a right of an uh, unpaid seller against the good so answer is d to a certain price question number 71 uh, section 36 to 42 of specific relief act provides what it it provides so answer is a injunctions so question number 72 which of the following is not a civil nature right to take um, out position right to worship in a temple and uh, right to uh, caste and religion and all of the above so the answer is c right to caste and religion question number 73 in a suit where the doctrine of res judicata applies so answer is a the suit is liable to be dismissed so the next question is 74 number uh, under section 16 cpc a suit relating to immovable property can be filled in a court whose local jurisdiction is so answer is a and this is where the property is situated so question number th uh, 75 is pleading means what does it means so it means plant and written statement is the answer question number 76 on failure to file a written statement under order 8 rule 10 of cpc the court may the court may d is the answer any of the verb it means a pass any other order order for striking of the degree and may pronounce the judgment at once so all of the above is answer question number 77 what is meant by homicide homicide so it means um c is the answer killing of a human being by another human being it's a homicide question number 78 adulteration of sorry alteration of food or drink is a punishable offense so answer is c under section 272 to 273 of ipc so the next question is maximum punishment for waging a war against the government of india under ipc is answer is d death sentence question number 80 offense relating to election r b is the answer are introduced in the ipc by a subsequent amendment question number 81 rupa bajaj versus kps gill is a famous case which the supreme court decided on outraged the modesty of a woman so c is the answer question number 82 under the hindu adoption and maintenance act the person who is taken in adoption so answer is a must be a hindu only okay so question number 83 is polygamy was permitted for hindus uh, before the year before the year is the answer 1955 question number 84 is mohan gets married to his sister's daughter kirti so the marriage is valid if the custom allows it the marriage is void the marriage is valid only if the court approves it so a, a is the answer the marriage is valid if the custom allowed it okay next 
within a preview of water act the mine the meaning of stream is defined as 85 and the answer is d includes a river a water course and uh, subterranean river question number 86 section 2 explores uh, one jet b of the trademark act 1999 defines the meaning of so the answer is a b trademark question number 87 outrigging of modesty of a woman is punishable under ipc answer is c section 354 so question number 88 is section 463 of indian penal code deals with the crime of answer is c forgery next question is criminal intimidation of explanation in ipc under section 503 to 506 is the answer so next question is under section 59 to 60 the indian evidence act the oral statement means all statements made before the court by the witness a is the answer question number 91 under the evidence act code includes a and d is a and b is the answer so d is the answer all judges and all magistrate question number 92 admiss admissibility of contents of electronic record may be provided in accordance with the provision of so the answer is c under section 65 b of the indian evidence set so the question number 93 which is not a public record as per the provisions of indian evidence act so c is the answer documents and correspondence from advocate and notary office so the question number 94 section 65 of motor vehicle act 1988 provides answer is d state comment power to control the road transport next question is a 95 number question the term taught is a B is the answer French word 96 question is the taught what is vicarious liability so the answer is B a person is liable for the wrongful act done by other person question number 97 under section 21 F of custom uh, consumer protection act 1986 defect is meant by any fault imperfection or shortcoming in relation to the goods so the answer is d all of the above quality and quantity potency and purity and st or standard okay so the next question is question number 98 which of the following falls under the categories of act of god so the answer is d all of the storm and cyclone extraordinary uh, rain fall or flood or lightning and thunder all of the act of god question number 99 income tax act was enacted in answer is b 1961 question number 100 is income is defined under section 24 of the income tax act as so answer is d all of the above profits and gain dividend and sorry dividend and c is voluntary contribution received by a trust from charitable purpose so these are all the question and answer i hope you will get some help thank you for watching